up, here we go. Oh, oh, girl, girl! <laughs> girl, come on now, dang. Oh, uh, the struggle is real. Uh, Jesus, hard walking in heel. I, I, I mean, I, I don't know, I don't know. I wear Jordans, but if Jordans had heels, then I'm sure, you know, I'd have a tough time walking in them. Man, we're gonna be looking at struggles that only women understand. And before we get started, please click that subscribe button and that notification bell, that way you know as soon as I post a new video. Now let's go! Now it's not necessarily struggles that only women understand, but you know, the struggles that pretty much most women will understand. I mean, this is just ridiculous. Jeez, man, is it that? You know what, maybe the floor was slippery. Jeez, somebody put oil on that floor. <laughs> <laughs> they should have left a wet floor sign, man, you know, next time. They set you up. Also, those heels are too dang high, girl. <laughs> Gosh dang. We gotta give this girl some flats. You know, some regular, regular tennis shoes. I mean, geez, hashtag pray for her. Could have been worse, could have been worse, could have been worse. She looks like she's drunk and she can't, can't stand up, dang. I'm sorry, it's not funny, but okay, it's kind of funny. It's pretty funny, man, dang. I mean, but I'm sure she's okay, she's okay. You know, she made it, right, right, maybe? Moving on, we got when the weather decides it's gonna ruin your day. All girls know the struggle when there's wind outside and you're just like, oh, the wind just blowing, your hair in your face. Now, I used to have some long hair. It wasn't that long, but you know, the wind, it kinda, okay, okay, I don't understand the struggle, all right, dang. Now, there are some dudes out there who, you know, who understand the struggle. They got some long hair and it blows in their face, so yeah. But the majority of girls, you know, when it's a windy day, the hair be blowing, blowing all up in the face. Gosh, dang, they look like they're ready to chop their hair off yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Man, look at the dude in the background just laughing it up, just like, haha, I'm bald. Yep, the perks of having no hair. Mm hmm. Or just having a hood to, you know, you know, put all your hair in. It's okay, ladies. I mean, you know, that is a struggle having the hair in the face, but at least you don't have to deal with the penis. Or, I mean, I mean, uh, uh, family friend. At least you don't have to deal with the penis. Yeah, 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 anyway. Moving on, moving on. Let's keep going. My. <laughs> Kim Kardashian just her crying face. I don't know why it's funny, but I'm sorry Kim your, your crying face is kind of funny My hair tie won't go around my hair three times, but it's too loose when it's only wrapped twice <laughs> That's a struggle. I had no idea man. I'm sorry. Look, they just have to make better hair ties That's all or you know what just don't tie your hair. Just let it hang loose Just let it hang down like a penis. I, I am yeah, moving on moving on. Yeah, disgusting look they don't have they don't have penis ties to like tie it up, you know, so I mean, why can't you just let your hair down? Or you know how they have underwear whitey tidies for like, you know, for guys, you know, you could just have whitey tidies for your hair. You just tie it up. You just put it on and, and boom, you good, you Gucci man. You would not be Gucci man. That would be really weird, but you know, it's all good. What, what, what is this egg? What, jeez, egg face. Ah! When you become an egg, when your ponytail is in too tight. <laughs> is that what girls look like when their ponytail is too tight? Just like stretched back like you just got Botox? Hey, but the eyebrows is popping right now. You know, it's kind of like pencil thin, but you know, hey, hey, do what you gotta do. That egg looks like it's about to be cooked. Mmm, eggs and bacon, that sounds kind of good right now. You know, it's really sad when this egg's eyebrows are better than mine. I mean, come on now. I mean, my eyebrows are pretty good right now. You know, I brush them every day. In school, did you guys ever have to do that? Like, oh, pretend the egg is a baby and take care of it? I had to do that. Me and my friends, we would play catch with my egg. And then somebody, you know, Jamal, Jamal dropped it and then broke it. So I just got a new egg and then, you know, just pretended it was the same one. But DJ Khaled, another, another one. Yeah, oh, hey, Liza, what the heck happened? <laughs> oh, dang, the eyebrows is gone. Going to bed still wearing makeup is not the best idea. <laughs> See, that's sad. Now your mattress's eyebrows are better than yours. Like, come on now. Dang, the eyebrows is like faded right now. Jeez. I can't even tell if you're happy or if you're mad. Hey, it's all good. I've been trying to let my eyebrows grow in. When are you gonna let yours grow in? You know, you gotta, gotta get it together. I mean, come on, at some point, gotta let them grow in. You gotta water them. You gotta give it some sun so that it grows to be nice and strong. So that it grows faster. That does suck though. Like, like every night, most girls, they gotta take off all their makeup before they go to bed and then they gotta put it all back on. It's a waste of time if you ask me. No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Now, you know, it's good, you know, put your makeup, do your thing, but for me, I'm just like, I ain't got the patience for that. When I'm tired, I'm trying to go to bed. Oh, what? 
Left eyebrow looking like Ariel, the little Mer right eyebrow. Oh, oh, god dang. Hey, at least you got one eyebrow right rather than both eyebrows looking like this, <laughs> you know. Why is your right eyebrow looking like a hot dog? Dang, man. It looks like a bloody hot dog with lettuce. <laughs> man, under the sea. You better stay under the sea looking like that. Man, a hot dog actually sounds good too. Dang. Mmm, a chili dog, chili cheese dog. Mmm. I've never seen a hot dog with a bra on. I mean, that's just different. That's something I never thought I'd ever see in my life. This hot dog looks like it just got murdered. Like, why? <laughs> but everybody comment down below your favorite food. And if you like to eat, just, you know, give this video a thumbs up. That way I don't feel like I'm alone, okay? And it's gonna help the channel grow. So please support. But seriously, I want a chili cheese dog right now, man. Oh, I'm making hot dogs tonight, I swear. Hey, after this video, I'm making me some hot dogs. Oh, let's keep it going. When you suddenly become a chicken on the run, when you're walking alone by a group of guys and one of them shouts at you, oh, what? You gotta run away, cause guy, oh. Now look, I do understand, you know, if a guy's like shouting at you, you know, a lot of times it's construction workers, I imagine. You know, they just shout at you like, hey girl, hey girl, what's your name? Can I holla, 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 can I holla for a dollar? I want to holla for a dollar and all, all, all. But when that happens, I imagine girls, you just gotta run away, especially if you're walking down the sidewalk, you know, outside, and you, you don't know what the guy's gonna do, okay? You, you know, it's kinda scary sometimes, I imagine. Now, now there was one time a group of black girls started yelling at me, you know, I, I felt uncomfortable. You know, black girls like, ooh, what you doing? What you doing after this? I was like, I, I, I don't know, trying to, uh, I don't know, going to KFC and then I'm gonna pay my taxes. That's it. It's scary. You gotta become a chicken on the run. You gotta get up on out of there. You don't know if they're a serial killer, you know, calling at you. You don't know. So all the girls, all the women out there, you know, I respect you for your struggles and you know what, just stay strong. Next one, we got struggling with cramps how it looks how it feels oh no this dude just jackhammering man that's probably the same dude that's like calling at girls and making them run away ah uh, yeah this one i feel bad because i really don't understand I, I i have not dealt with this all i know is what i hear from my friends who are girls and you know they talk about the cramps and they say it's it's bad it gets bad sometimes and it sucks that they have to deal with it like every every month man so anything that i can do to make a girl's life better you know i'm gonna do it okay because i'm a good man <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes I'm a good man, but you know, other times I'm, uh, you know, I'm a bit of a, I'm not a good man. He lies! It's definitely a struggle that only women understand because man, I mean, they gotta go through it all the time. And guys, the worst that we have to go through is, you know, when you gotta sit down on the toilet and your thing hits the water. Oh, that's the worst, man. That's, ugh, that's nasty. What, just me? Oh, okay, okay. Well, never mind, never mind. Forget it. Okay, this one says, putting up with the stand. Hey! Oh, the lipstick just all over the coffee cup. Oh, 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 oh. There was one time a girl in high school, she's like, hey, do you want some? And she handed me the cup and those lipstick all on it. And I was just like, mm, nope, nope, I'm good, I'm good. It was, ugh, nah. It was Kool-Aid that she offered me. So I drank it anyway. That's how you know you got too much lipstick on, girl. You drinking and that much, it's, it's leaving that much of a stain. Oh, heck no. At that point, you need to use a straw, okay? Like, like this, this, that's ridiculous. Or you just gotta put on the matte lipstick, you know, the lipstick that's not so glossy, the lipstick that's not gonna get everywhere, or just do like me and go with no lipstick. <laughs> because my lips are so big, it would use up a whole stick of lipstick, so I, I can't, I don't use any, that's why. Dang, man, that much lipstick, girl, you better cut that out of here. All right, last one. Oh, hey, hey, the bra, the bra, 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 bra. It says the best feeling ever. The only thing that matters at the end of the day. Oh, when they unhook the bra. Yep, yep, yep. I mean, I'm not gonna act like I know what that feels like, cause I don't. But I can only imagine that it kind of pulls on you, I imagine. And then when you take it off, it's just like a release. It's just like, ah. Oh. I can't really imagine what, you know, taking off the bra feels like. So, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna take your word for it. Gonna take y'all's word for it. And I, I, don't, I don't know, I don't know. I ain't never worn a bra before. I haven't, okay? Except that one time in middle school when I got dared to do it. But anyway, look, man, they triple dog dared me to do it, okay? And it was one time, all right, dang, leave me alone. Woo, talking about the best feeling ever, and I'm sure it is, but still, you gotta get that out of here. Woo, just like that, man, we good, we Gucci main. Thank you guys for watching the video. Please, please click that subscribe button. Turn on the YouTube notifications, because all the cool kids are doing it.
peer pressure. Click that link in the description below. Get some of the family friendly Dang Matt Smith merch. Yeah, let everybody know that we keeping it clean. And yeah, talk to me on Instagram and Twitter at Dang Matt Smith. Just DM me and yeah, I'll read it. I'll try to respond to as many of you guys as I can and yeah. But you guys have a good night. If it's not nighttime, then you guys have a good day and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Peace.